Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Show money or no money? Who's the fool? Now, if you really think about it, if someone's in a club tossing it up, and which I really don't see anymore because I guess a lot of people fucking broke or people getting smart and keeping their money in their account. Who's the biggest fool? The person who shows their money or the person who doesn't. Now, show money is more like a person who every time you see him, he's pulling out his money. He's showing his nice car. He's wearing the most expensive clothes. Then the person who doesn't look like they have money. Maybe he wears a white tee like me, a regular watch, something simple, some jeans, and maybe some nice shoes. He's not dirty. He's not dingy. He's not a bum. He just he just dresses you know, very casually, but not, oh, the real monkey or the true religion or the baby name. I don't know if this stuff's still inside because I don't really look at things like that. But you understand what I'm talking about. Versace and Prada and Gucci and whatever, man. You got to keep it Gucci, man. Whatever. Show money or no money, who's the fool? I believe the person, you already know where I'm going at, who shows the money is the fool. Because this is different between a person with show money and no money, the person who's usually showing their money has a reason why they're showing their money. Maybe they're lacking in the area. Maybe they're lacking down there. Or maybe she's lacking up here. Or maybe she doesn't have nothing back there. It could be physical characteristic. It could be mental. It could be educational-wise. They are lacking something. It could even stem from their childhood, them not getting the attention they need. But I'm going to tell you this. Those people who bring attention to themselves because they want to let everybody know that they got money, I want you to start paying attention to the people who don't show money, who you really look at and say they have money, though. Those are the people who are your role models. Those are the people you should be looking at because those are the people who are living great and wonderful lives. Now, I know thousands of people who show money who never really go anywhere. I know thousands of people who show money who go everywhere but always broke. That's what you need to understand. People who show money, oh, we went to Dubai last year. Oh, and then we went to Australia. And then we hiked Kilimanjaro in Africa or whatever it may be. These are the things. It's okay to, to go on these wonderful trips. Did you plan for it? Did you plan for it? Did you save for it? Or you spend on your credit cards or going to your investments and savings? That's show money because you want to show everybody you're the Joneses. You want to show everybody you're a baller. You want to show everybody that you're some sort of boss. You want to show everybody that you have some high paying job. Stop trying to show people what you have. Stop trying to show people what you can amount to. Don't show them nothing. Don't show them shit because nothing matters to them. It only matters to you and yours, you and your family. That is it at the end of the day. You want to have no money to show, only in the bank. That is where it counts, Ross World. It counts when your money's in the bank, making money on top of money. Because quite frankly, when you look at it, you may have a nice car, you may have nice clothes, but everything has been methodically planned and strategically mapped out in order for you to get those things. Now, that person got them quickly, but guess what? They are in debt. They are in debt and they have to pay the credit card companies back. They have to pay the loan companies back. They have to pay all these people all this money in order to live that Jonesy lifestyle. But you, the conscious thinker, the smart one, the budgeter, the planner, you set out funds. You saved. You invested. You in budget. You did your research. All these videos I'm releasing is for the education of your mind for you to obtain the wealth that you should have because you are in your cubicle. You are on a construction site. You're in the hospital. You're at the clinic. You're at the business office. You're somewhere working your butt off. Probably not every day. You're probably chilling in the break room sometimes. I see you. Working your butt off every day in order to make money for you and yours, for you and your family. Why throw it all away just to show somebody that you got money? Why try to be a big spender to show somebody you have money? And some of you say, well, I'm not showing it. Some of you are saying, I'm not showing somebody that I have money. I'm just buying stuff that I want. I got you. I feel you. But don't you want to do it intelligently? Don't you want to do it smart? And the way you do it smart is very simple way. This is not calculus. This is not geometry. This is basic math. One, two, three, four. First step, budget for it. Make a plan. Second step, Save for it. Third step, 
have a purpose. Four step, execute, go into action, whether it be a dress, some jeans, a suit, a tux, a weave, it doesn't matter what it is. Just go out and go through the necessary steps of showing your money through other means instead of splurging and have everybody give you kudos. Why is this? Why do people give you kudos about your clothes? Why do people give you kudos about your car? Especially when it's expensive. When you bought your Sherry Cruise, only a select few of people say, hey man, that's a really nice Chevy Cruze. Man, that damn Honda Civic on point. No, 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 no. They didn't do that. But when you bought that BMW, when you bought your Audi, when you bought your Benz, they're like, man, shit, that Benz hot, bro. Was that the SMG? That's the AMG? Oh, that's the S500? That's the S550? That's the Audi S7? Damn, man, you, you balling, bro. But nobody ever give you kudos when you come up with the Toyota Camry, man, that's a real nice, safe, standard car. No one ever gives you props about your Camry until what? You put rims on it. No one gives you really props about Maxima. And Maxima used to be really in style back in the day because they still expensive cars nevertheless. Uh, 28000 to 37000 somewhere up in there. But people used to really give kudos about regular everyday cars. But now you got to be some big baller. You got to be some big splurger. Oh, yeah, I just got that Benz. I just caught that 7 Series BMW. Why? You know, girl, I only do coupes. I only got that little R8 Audi out there. Girl, that's like 127000 Yeah, I only make 90000 Got it on credit. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So don't have show money. And I'm not going to beat your head about it. Don't have show money because you'll end up with no money and you will be the fool. Don't be a fool. Have the show money in your bank account and present no money to who's looking. This is Ross World where uh, I don't show money. Most of my callers be lazy right here. I'm out.